Welcome to Android Tool Series. Today we're gonna take a look at Layout Inspector. Layout Inspector is a part of Android Studio. It allows us to explore view hierarchy and to get information about each view on the screen. Developers, testers and key engineers can find this tool helpful because it allows us to find wanted data for writing test scenarios, comparing screen with design mock or specification. This tool can help a lot, especially when the layout of the screen is complicated and separated between different XML files. The Layout Inspector window has four sections – View Tree, Toolbar, Interactive Screenshot and a Property Table. Let's start with the View Tree. This section allows us to interact with the hierarchy of the views. The Toolbar allows us to control zoom level and grid overlay. The Interactive Screenshot section displays captured screenshots from the device and helps us to choose the required view for checking properties. Property tables demonstrate properties of the selected views like height, width, ID, padding, text size, and so forth. To open Layout Inspector, we should click on Tools and Layout Inspector submenu. The next step is to choose the necessary process from a connected device or an emulator. If you want to capture a screenshot from any application, you should install it on rooted device or an emulator without Google Play. In this case, you should choose Show All Processes and select the required process. Finally, we should click on the OK button and the screen will be captured. Afterwards, we can start exploring view hierarchy. We can start interacting with the capture screenshot with the view hierarchy section. As you can see, after selecting a view, we can see that view was also selected in the interactive screenshot section. As an alternative, we can interact with interactive screenshot section and select the wanted view for verification properties. All properties are grouped for better navigation because some groups have many parameters. Let's check padding parameter for the login button. First of all, we should select this button in the view tree or an interactive screenshot section. Next step is to expand padding group and as we can see all padding values are zero. However, looking for properties by opening each group can be time-consuming. Fortunately, we have a search in the Properties table section. Let's type ID into search input and we have favor groups which simplify the looking for a property. We should move to the Properties section and find the ID of the view. Each captured screenshot is saved in captures folder and you can compare it with other captured files. As you can see, we have a new captured file in the folder. We can change a position of the login button and after it, we can compare this version of the screen with the previous one. We can change layout a little bit for displaying login button on the left side of the screen. Afterwards, we should rebuild and install new version of the app. Once the application is launched, we should capture the screen again. As you can see, after it, we have two files in the captures folder. We can open them and compare margin values. As you can see, this file can show difference between other versions of the screen. The Layout Inspector is a powerful tool which can help us with getting information about views on the screen. It can help a lot developers, testers and key engineers for creating test scenarios and comparing application with a specification or a design mockup. This tool provides much more information than UI Automator Viewer, but device should be rooted or it should be installed on emulator without Google Play. In this case only, you can check any application, otherwise you can check only the developing app. You can find the link to the video about UI Automator Viewer below the video. Thank you for watching, I hope you found it useful.